So I've got all the bits. I'm going to take this tiny little engine. So this is a little uh, 3.56 cc OS, OS engine. So I mean, made in Japan. These are stunning. So this is, this is not brand new. Uh, this has been run. You can see it's been run. But I don't think it's been run much. Uh, it feels like it's got very good compression. Little exhaust and silencer. Uh, before I put that on, what I'm going to do is make up a mount out of a piece of wood so that I can strap it to uh, a workmate and then we can spin it up in the uh, garden. So I'll make up this mount, I'll cut this out. Um, that'd be quite nice. We'll make up the tank, get the propeller fitted and just uh, balanced and sorted out, and then we're uh, we'll be ready to go, I reckon. <laughs> Fantastic. I've even got some fuel. Bit maybe a little bit too much nitro in there but it'll be good it'll run so let's just uh, get the width of this little engine between the uh, engine mounts so this distance here looks like wow, it's 20 it's 29 millimeters but if we make it 30 we get that little bit of wiggle room and then we can get those holes in and mount that down onto here so we'll put a 30 millimeter slot in the middle of there this is 60 millimeters wide that's pretty good so 50 millimeters in from each edge we'll mark that down slot it out and put in mounting points for this so this little engine fits more or less perfectly in there i'll mark up the uh I'll mark up the holes. Mark up where the holes are going to go for the bolts. We'll put some bolts through. Might just quickly paint the wood around there. Just treat it a bit so that it's not going to go completely soggy with the oil straight away. And then we'll get ready to uh, sort it all out. Sort the rest of it out. Brilliant. Let's go. Just see that glowing. Can you see that glow plug just glowing? You can just see it blowing. That's it. That's so that's working. That's perfect. We'll use that glow plug first. That's good. Just put that back in. Notice it's got a copper washer on there, soft copper washer. A simple running this needs a propeller i've chosen a, a master air screw timber 5 which is about right if you look on our website on glueit.com glue-it.com you will be able to see a good starting point for propeller sizes based on engine capacity and that's uh, it's got a table for two strokes and for four strokes this is a four stroke so three point as I said, 3.56 cc, 0.217 cubic inch. Needs a little bit of a, oh no, that should be perfect. So propeller fits. I've got to just strap the fuel tank down so this doesn't flop around. I've got to make up a, a, uh, a throttle wire just so that we can open and close the throttle. Uh, I'll just take the edges off the propeller just slightly there's a rough bit of flashing on the propeller not so nice a bit sharp on your fingers that's going to be so i'll just take that slightly off so i'm nearly ready to run um this is the os fs20 so 20 is 0.2 cubic inch roughly 0.2 but it's 3.56 cc a 10 by 5 propeller 10 by 5 inches um 
we've got a fill tank here that I've just strapped with some wire down to the, down to the actual uh, wooden mount that I'm going to use just to run the engine. Um, now what we've got is a feed to the engine here which goes into the clunk so the clunk is it's actually a clunk tank it's designed for aircraft so that it, it operates either way up um, upside down the, the little brass bit on the end of the pipe inside the fill tank always falls to the bottom into the fill so we've got that's in in the fill that feeds the engine we've got a pipe here from the exhaust that gives a bit of pressure to the tank so that goes into the tank and pressurizes the tank and therefore pushes fuel into the engine and then we've got a filler point here that we've just got a i made a little brass stop up to fit in that filler so we just can just fill the tank up and then stop it um oil there will be some oil come out of the engine but it won't be much out the back um now what i'm going to do is i'm oh actually i missed a key point there's the throttle so i've got a simple throttle for the moment just a piece of piano wire um, so I can open and close the throttle and I've just put it underneath the tank straps so it's nice and simple keeps me away from the engine when I'm just uh, playing with it here and then we've got the needle valve on the engine here to control the fill mixture again it's quite nicely situated I've put the exhaust pointed up a bit to get it away from that needle valve so I just don't burn my fingers for the moment but we are ready to go so we'll put some fuel in we'll get the uh, glow plug uh, heated up and ready to give us ignition and we're away and i can uh, flick start it fantastic yeah there's our little uh, four stroke engine 